Um, the voice stuff is great because they just give you a bag of cash. So this all the the trip, you know, the the Marvel uh, journey started as Jarvis, right? Just as kind of, I guess that's just voice work, right? Yes, I uh, um, yes, I got a phone call from John Favreau, who said, um, "Paul, I've got this part of this computer. It's this disembodied voice of a computer that sort of lives in Tony Stark's suit." And I need somebody with no personality whatsoever, and I thought of you immediately. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever John Favreau's, when that's the phone call that you get, whatever he says, all good, man. That's the phone call you want to be getting these days. All right, Favreau's, I'm in. <laughs> and then this whole journey. Uh, Crazy. Started, which is just, bonk I mean, the journey's bonkers. Turns out it's over three decades. Right. Told me that, and I was like, "What? That's is that? Tr that's true." You're like the Tom Brady of the Marvel universe. Yeah, you've been <laughs> in a minute, man. <laughs> Tom Brady just can't quit. <laughs> just fucking retire already, <laughs> both of you, Paul Bettany and Tom Brady. Get out of my life. I, I might have lost a couple of steps, but I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> was there already part of you when when Vision became Vision? Where you were like, I kind of want to just keep doing the voice yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's pretty like easy the, doing this shit. The voice stuff is a pretty good gig. Um, the voice stuff is great because they just give you a bag of cash. And, uh, yeah. and it takes about six hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about you? I, we've talked to other people who've done work, uh, voice work, and they're like, you know, it's characterized as easy money, and it's not. And he's like, yeah, it fucking is. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's easy money. It's easy <laughs> Um, yeah, I felt like I was a pirate. Like, literally, I was like, I'm these people. This is ridiculous. And they're so, they're so grateful because, okay, so they've made a movie. There might be some confusion. They do some CG. They, you know, they maybe do a reshoot. If it's still confusing, you can just have vision going, you got bad guys on your left. Right. And everyone's like, oh, my God, that was so clever, Paul. And you go, I could do this all day. <laughs> Cash. Uh, and, 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 uh, and then they put me in the goddamn movie. Oh. And you got to have the oh. thing in your head and you're red. It's not like, you know, it's not a walk in the park. Jesus it, Christ. It was right. It was, <laughs> uh, and that is as difficult as wearing really cumbersome costume it's and then getting paid a lot of money. So, <laughs> not that difficult. You know, uh, uh, yeah, I, I I have been really um, really blessed. I feel really lucky, and I know. I mean, to I'm now have a, a, you know your own show is like the even an even larger leap. Where it's you know oh. not you're not one of. I mean, how many? There's fifty goddamn Avengers. You know, you're not <laughs> one of a of a pack anymore. You are you know carrying the load now. So we'll see if you really got the goods now, Paul, because you don't have a good enough track record as is. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time. You know, beautiful mind. <laughs> and, uh, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why they kept him only in voice. <laughs> are are you uh, happy to have have the face out there now? Because because vision, you were always you know vision. Now now we're vision in the past, and we get to see what vision actually looks like. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I've grown a beard and shaved my head. I, I don't know about that bit yet because um, I'm mostly able to have all of the good bit. Like the fun of the creativity of it all, and then and and then the paycheck, and <laughs> that's and then uh, shoes, uh, and then um, and and nice tables at restaurants, and, and none of the none of the none of the slightly annoying bit. So I don't know about that yet because it. Uh, well, I haven't been out of my fucking house. Who's going to recognize? <laughs> <laughs> what what did you think about uh i mean you had to have known those first episodes dropping are uh very different very unique kind of weird um and I, that's got to be fun to be putting out some shit that you know is going to like blow people's minds especially you know uh comic book stuff is pretty formulaic or people usually know what they're going to get and this i think is a total departure from that where it's like you know something they've never seen before yeah i mean <clears throat> i think that 
Marvel has historically taken really big swings and they have been um, they've been rewarded when they do. I mean, I think it's really easy to forget what a massive risk <laughs> having John Favreau direct uh, Iron Man and and having him direct Robert Downey Jr. Jr. Yeah, I mean, was a real maverick idea, and it was brilliant, and. It, and they were both brilliant, and they were paid off for taking such a, a massive swing. And then, you know, I mean, Ant-Man, and that, I mean, all, 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 frankly, all of them, Guardians, and then reinventing Thor. It, yeah, it's, 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 I feel like it gets a bad rap because it's, it's, not a bad rap. I mean, everyone, everybody loves them, but it's fun. It's not, it's not like, you know, heavy material, and I think people cr almost critique that. It's like, there's still a lot of art in that and a lot of, you know, work and a lot of everything else in all of acting is in these movies as well. Uh, yeah, and also the skill at making those movies. And anybody who's ever actually made a movie looks at those movies and secretly they know how hard those movies are to make. And ultimately, at the end of the day, isn't the goal to have people walking out of the theater going like, God, that was fucking awesome. Whether it's because you cried or whether it was because you thought or whether whatever you feel, like Marvel's hitting, you know, the right the right part of your heart. So Yes, and also Marvel is you got something to say. I mean, Civil War is about whether a, a, a you know, in this case, a group of superpowered individuals or a you know, superpower should unilaterally be able to make decisions and go into other people's sovereign nations. And, and, right, you know, yeah, I mean, it's some heavy shit. <laughs> right. That's quite a big thing. And actually, it was really interesting going around uh, on the tour for selling that is that the whole rest of the world were two-thirds on... Uh, when we uh, Downey would always go, who in the audience is on Cap's side? Who in the audience is on my side? Whole rest of the world, two thirds were on um, Downey's side. In America, it was two thirds on Captain America. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes, makes that makes sense. That checks out. Yeah, that, that checks out. The autonomy to be able to go into a night. We make it was, yeah. it was really, really uh, fascinating to to kind of see that that that, that uh, they felt. Here they felt there was no need for a UN or some sort of governing body. Yeah, to it's fascinating, what, embarrassing. Yeah. I don't know. Whichever <laughs> word you want to put on it, I don't know. <laughs> All right, you're already laughing at one of the best clips of our shows. Now it's time for you to watch the full episode. So click here, here. subscribe to the full KFC Radio show. That you can watch right there. entire episodes right here. You want more clips? Click here. Subscribe to both of them. Hit the, hit the button, clip. too. Hit the bell. Hit the bell hit. and the button. And then the comment below. Leave comments who else you think we should interview. And, and how I'm funnier than John. Maybe. <laughs>